hello ladies happy today is monday actually very intense monday it is the last full week before christmas so today is the 14th um and i'm still trying to work on christmas campaigns um we've had crazy posts at the moment so lots of things that i'm collaborating on haven't turned up um so it's a crazy time but i thought i would just get on here again very impromptu completely unplanned because i've got some exciting stuff that has come in and because i've got good outfit on that i wanted to share with you which is really good i mean i'm not sure how soon i'll get this out let's be real but um but i thought this is a really good outdoor um outdoor socializing look so i thought i would share that with you i know i'm trying to do that as well the issue is obviously always getting things published in time um but also yeah new hair new do also full face of makeup um trying to bring a bit of glam to the youtube life because i know i've been very conscious of the fact that i've just been rocking up here looking any kind of way and it does upset me when i look back on it because i think that's not how i want to portray myself but I'm also trying to do it, like I said, in a way that is manageable. Um, so today, right now, I'm just working on an Instagram post. I'm actually doing a just a picture of this makeup look. Let me see if I, if I show you in the natural light, you might be able to see it a little bit more. Um, so I've just done a, it's, all my makeup at the moment is super Christmas inspired, um, just because I'm creating Christmas content. And also I just love to kind of play around with makeup at this time of the year. Um, although we don't really have many, occasions coming up to wear it so instagram and youtube always really helps but i have gone for boy brow no not boy brow um brow flick on my eyebrows i have got glossier no i'm getting this wrong i've got hourglass on my eyelids just normal rimmel um eyeliner and then on my lashes i have um oh i don't know is it too faced I'll link that down below I can't remember um makeup foundation is and uh, oh my god what is wrong with me I was gonna say and other stories the ordinary then my lipstick is hourglass as well it's a really nice kind of berry red kind of thing pinky berry red kind of thing and I also have some new makeup in from a collaboration that I'm doing which I'm really really excited to be doing and um, I have wanted to work with this lady for well over a year and um, she's somebody who basically inspired me to even become a blogger full time and um, there was a few people but she's definitely one of them and um it's now literally come to the point where i'm actually collaborating with her so that's really, really exciting i'm going to unbox and share with you what it is um in a minute i'm just going to finish my instagram post um so i thought also that's another reason why i wanted to get on here today to share those pieces with you and give you a real i mean maybe i'll do it in tomorrow's tomorrow when i'm obviously going to redo my makeup i will use the products that i've got i don't know what products i've got i basically made a selection and they said from the selection that i made they would choose the pieces um from that so i don't know what i've got um but i thought i would try and test and share that with you and do your makeup look with the new products so i'll share that um obviously not today now because my makeup is already done um but yes yeah, so i just thought it's a good time to vlog i've got a new bag in stock at the moment which i've actually got on now just show you this is the berry red so kind of like complementing my lipstick at the moment um i just had to get a look a picture of this look because i um am publishing a video tonight styling this look which is an outdoor socializing look like i said and i will talk you through the whole like details because you know on instagram i'm trying to create like content that is instagram like instant basically which is what i think people on instagram want but then i want to use youtube as an extension of that to really give people the style kind of my my approach to style and how i put things together um and just try to talk about fit and stuff like that styling body shape that sort of thing um, and i feel like i've been doing that on instagram and i just feel like it's become a little bit wasted now um so i, I still really want to give that side of my content because you know i feel like i have learned how to take pictures but not willingly what i've always wanted to do share my thought process behind how i style stuff so that's what i'm i've probably said this before and i'm saying it again i want to use this as the extension of my instagram and this is where you can really understand how i like to style things and um just what i'm wearing not everything's always going to be brand new um you know obviously i do collabs on instagram but my youtube channel is so small that it's not really um always about showcasing new things it's about showcasing how i'm wearing things as well as obviously sharing what i've got new in for 
you to shop as well if you want to um so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get on with editing i've taken a selfie of this look for instagram so i'm going to just get on with finding all the links for the products that i've used and i'll also link them down below then i'll get back on here and i'll show you my full outfit of the day okay so i just thought i'd share my outfit of the day with you because i think this is a really good one if you're outdoor socializing in the tier two restrictions that we are living in then this is a really good outfit to keep warm in and i still feel like it brings a lot of the glam so first of all what i have done is a is that our door yeah sorry i just got a very exciting delivery through which i'm also going to share with you um I'm so excited about um some of the collaborations i've got coming up at the minute anyway um, and then i also do need to talk to you about my hair but we'll do that um I don't know shortly so anyway so this outfit christian has just said to me that we're going to be moving into tier three soon so outdoor socializing and socializing in general might not even be a thing i don't even know if you're yeah if we're in tier three basically we have no hospitality open whatsoever so there will be no socializing so hopefully um this will come on hurry up this will be out before we are in lockdown but of course this is not just about you know people that live in the same tier as me i'm hoping that i'm talking to people from you know different places that aren't in tier two so anyway so what i've got on is a very basic polo neck i think in my last outfit of the day um kind of outdoor socializing inspo i also had on a black polo neck they're just really simple easy to just chuck on under anything and they create a really good base layer and of course if you want to you can layer beneath this i will say that i went out on saturday and um i had probably layered up too much i didn't even end up wearing half the layers that i had because some of the gardens are actually really well um insulated in terms of heat but anyway so then i have got on just a black belt i think I, this is just one of my basic belts from primark and i have got on some jeans from topshop which i always wear and then what i'm loving in um and um, this outdoor socializing situation is a good pair of long boots particularly ones that go over the knees I have bad knees, awful knees, so this just helps to give a little bit of heat, create an extra layer. Um, of course, leather always kind of incubates heat as well, so that's quite nice. And then, this is where it gets a little bit more interesting, so it's about the layering. Um, so first of all, what I did was I chucked on this check. What is this? Prince of Wales check? No, that is i think it's prince of wales check um this is a prince of wales check blazer from next and what i love about it is although it's quite a classic check it has got is it a heritage check prince of wales yeah um, it's got these nice gold buttons but just add a nice detail they've got them here as well and also this blazer is roomy enough to be able to layer over kind of fine knits which is quite nice um you know some people might think that you know wearing this sort of a black and white check blazer with a burgundy boot might not work but i quite like the contrast in color and it's something a little bit unexpected um and then i laid up still and i went for this dog tooth check is dog tooth a check yeah so i keep i keep them no, okay it's not a check this dog tooth jacket um coat huh it's not window pane this is dog tooth oh sorry dog tooth window pane so it's not very professional when i'm like comparing everything with him over there um so yeah so then i just had this layered on over it you kind of got this like obviously these checks aren't exactly the same but they're very similar in the fact that they've got small and large within each other obviously they pick up on the same sort of colors so i'm not too bothered about the fact that they're not a perfect match in fact fact i think it looks better that they are contrasting in size and i think when you're mixing and matching um prints they always need to either kind of call out on the same sort of colors and i do think they generally need to be of different sizes otherwise it can look a bit crazy and then i just had the whole look on with this is the new my porter bag this is new in for christmas it is in this berry red look how gorgeous it is like deep red and then it's got this suede um which you know all the bags come with the contrast in suede flat but against that cold metal the suede just looks amazing it looks so rich and so deep in color um, and again this just kind of helps to i mean i've used the lipstick and the boots to kind of justify where why i'm going for this red bag of course you can use a red bag as a complete contrast you don't have to have anything else incorporated into your outfit that's red but i just like the idea of playing around with the black on white with this deep berry red again you could use burgundy or 
even you could do like i do write like um black and black white and brown together so or you could just do a typical bright red christmasy red or even green of course you have to change up your boots accordingly um but i thought i'd just show you this on so basically because i was so hot if i was oh my god if i was actually gonna wear this bag over all of this i would actually carry it like this i've been carrying these bags like this quite a lot um because i don't kind of want to bulk up loads and loads of things across my body so i just kind of carry it like that you get a good pop of color and you can still see sorry i don't know if you can still see my boots you can still see the boot as well of course the boots and the bag are not a perfect match in color but they complement each other so i just think it's a really nice detail but then because i was so hot sorry because i was so hot what i did was i just wore my bag like this So I just did it cross body, like that. And then just threw on this coat over my shoulders. And what's so good about this coat is it is big enough. You know, it's got really like deep armholes. So you can layer it really easily over your coat, your blazers, and even like smaller jackets, which I have done. Um, alternatively, you could take off your blazer and wear the the coat actually put the coat actually on but i always prefer to have a blazer on because i just think it looks a bit more smart i just like a tailored look but anyway so that was my outfit of the day and this is like lots of layering going on you've got your boots on um which are over your jeans you can even wear long socks if you wanted to you've got your polo neck on so your next one you don't even have to worry about a scarf then you've got the blazer on and you've got a coat if you need it if you want to wrap it around your legs like chuck it on as a blanket that sort of thing but i feel like it's a really good look and you still feel like a little bit festive with the very red bag and you obviously i've got this like very red lipstick but you're still warm and got, i've got lots of jewelry on to keep it a little bit glam as well um, so that was my festive outfit of the day for tier two outdoor socializing and just let you know this bag is in stock i think there's only a few left now so if you do want one dm me um i actually don't know if by the time this video goes out if this will still be in stock but it is in stock at the moment um so now i've got some exciting deliveries that have just come in so i will share those with you i'll unbox them now also just to let you know that i'll link obviously everything down below not not everything that i've just showed you in this look is brand new so um so yeah, I'll link alternatives as always. Okay, so what I thought I would do now is just unbox this very exciting package that I have here. So basically, this is from, um, I'm sure you all know her, Trini Woodall, um, her beauty brand or makeup brand, Trini London. Um, I didn't know she was back online and had this whole huge online presence till um, probably about four years ago maybe four yeah four years ago when i was pregnant with allegra or maybe it was after i had allegra but no i was at home i was consuming a lot of digital content um from women mothers creators because i was just figuring out what i was going to be doing with myself and didn't really know i knew that obviously i've always worked in digital i also worked in fashion i um worked with bloggers so i've always had this passion for content creation and for digital and for doing something and i just kind of it came to me that i could do something by myself and that i didn't need to work for someone else um so i was getting watching lots of these content creators and getting lots of inspiration um and i don't think i realized that trini had her own makeup brand till a lot later i don't know if she had the brand when i first started following her which was four or five years ago at that point she was doing um lots of like zara shop ups and that sort of thing um and i was just like oh my god i could totally do this um, and then obviously I figured, I discovered, oh my God, I can't see the top of your head there, Christian, but anyway. And um, then I discovered her brand, Trini London. And I was like, I want to work with her. I would love to work with her. I would love the opportunity to work with her. I've even wanted to send her bags and all that sort of thing. And um, I reached out to her last week. And I was like, I'm, you know, well, to her PR person. I was just like, I have been obsessed with Trini for God knows how long. I reference her in so much of my content. I'm so inspired by her. Um, she has been... You know, to me, she offers so much value. She's got good energy. I just, there's so much about her that I like. She never ever seems pretentious. Her fashion and her makeup seem really accessible. Um, you know, like that, yeah. So that's, anyway, so that's why I'm really, really excited to work with her and to be able to share this with you. I feel like this is such a little bit of a, a milestone in my career. Um, 
so basically what happened was I chose quite a big selection and then from my selection they narrowed it down I don't know if they've done it on kind of what pr products they want to promote or what products they think would suit me I don't think they would have done it on what suits me because you know I'm sure they're sending out products to loads of people all the time um okay so there are four pieces in here all come nicely packaged Oh my god, I don't know why I ever do that anyway. It's got the Trini London on the box. And let's see, this is how it comes with the Trini yellow box. Um, okay, so let's see what we have here. I really wanted the Metallics um, eyeshadow because I thought it would be really good to create Christmas looks with. So I've got Lip Lux here. I don't know what, let's see, in shade Pookie, which is kind of probably similar to what I've got on today. Um, let me open it up. I mean, maybe I should actually do this in a different video, but anyway, it's too late now. Um, and I love how everything comes like, you know, you can just use your finger because that's generally how I tend to put my makeup on. So it comes in this little tub like this. Okay. And that's it, that's Pookie, a really nice, it's more like a pinky red. Oh, that's gorgeous, can't wait to share that. Um, I will, I don't know if I'll do it in this vlog, I won't be able to try it on today, because obviously I'm already fully made up and I want to do it, I want to give it as much justice as possible. So then this is a um, uh, tea tip, apply to the apple of your cheeks for a healthy flush of colour and use with cheekbones for a more chiselled look. Yes, I'm all about chiselled looks. Um, so it's called Flush Blush Blusher in shade Smoogy. Yeah, this was on my list as well. Um, and I'm actually, I was in need of a new um, blusher because what I've been using is, what have I been using? Um, Glossier Powd Cloud Paints. One of the shades I've got, it literally does not show up on me whatsoever. And um, then I've got a pinky one, which you just have to apply so much of it. So I don't really use them very much. This looks nice. Very, very subtle pink, which is what I need. Because sometimes I want a blusher that I can wear that's quite subtle. So I can go really hard with my lips and my eyes. Um, which is what I generally tend to do over the Christmas period. I'm just thinking my eyes look a little bit. I don't know, maybe it's my eyeshadow. So this is Schmoogie. It's like a pinky, brownie. I suppose more pink. Um, I'm excited to try all of these and then I have got and do these all stack oh yes they are part of the stacking oh my god yes I love that um, so it's so easy to like just chuck into your handbag and you know what they're such good sizes that these will fit easily even into my mama porter bags because sometimes I end up not carrying out makeup with me because I'm like, I can't bother to just put it in my bag and have my bag over full but the thing is now that we're in this kind of having to wear masks and stuff all the time i feel like you always need to reapply your makeup especially your mouth and your cheeks so it's good to be able to have things that you can carry around with you and um, that don't take up too much space in your um handbag so this is sorry i just i just about even telling you what it is this is called just a touch foundation concealer yes i'm so excited for this um so this will be interesting um, I have seen other bloggers using her foundations and it does look really good. Foundation concealer, I think that means that there'll be quite good coverage, which is what I always like. This colour looks good. I'm very, usually I'm very, um, I usually go for colours that are too dark or too red for me. This is like it's got a good kind of yellowy undertone. Um, and what, I'll tell you what shade this is. This is, is An Anjoli or Anjali. Anyway, that's kind of, um, one that I really wanted actually. I love the fact that I've got a stack. I love it. I feel so excited by that. Um, and then the last thing I have is like Fortitude. Okay, so this is like I think this is the deep red. Um eyeshadow, which is one that I'll be able to create a really good look with for. And look at that, it's like creamy. I've no, I've never, I don't really use creamy eyeshadows, and um, so let me just put that on my. Oh wow, that's amazing! Oh my gosh, it's oh look at that! It's creamy and it's oh my god, that is fantastic! Oh my god, I'm going to create such a good look with that. Is this basically? This might be like a whole look. Now maybe Pookie would be too bright with that. Actually, the Pookie lip would be too bright. 
to go with this red but i'm going to create a wicked look with this um so yeah i'm really excited to try all of these things um and create some christmas looks yes i'm very <coughs> very very happy with that so um yes i finally got my little trilly london stack which i think i will um probably play around with over the christmas period i'm gonna be doing lots of um makeup content on my instagram um so i will share um so follow me over there for some kind of christmas makeup looks i'll be doing igtvs and that sort of thing i find doing makeup really difficult for youtube so it, you know it's just yeah <laughs> i'll show you the looks but i might not do the whole this application thing because i just feel like there's so many good makeup bloggers vloggers on here which i'm not um and i wouldn't want to talk you through how i do my makeup because it's so haphazard and when i feel like on you on instagram you know it's i don't feel as much pressure because i'm not trying to do anything but just anyway um, what i w wondered is are any of these lip to cheek i don't think any of them are uh no oh. okay so none of these can be used on my lips um, okay, so that is my Trini London stack. So gorgeous. Really, really happy with the colours. Um, and now, oh my god, I need to... What do I need to do now? I don't know what I need to do. I've got so much to do. Um, I need to get a picture of a new top from Zara. So I'm going to do that and... Okay, I've just got an email through for work. Okay, right, I'm going to be back shortly i did get another um item in that i was going to unbox with you um i might do a whole video like a new in video because i feel like there's a lot going on i don't even know what i'm doing anyway i'll be back shortly so literally just after i finished talking about all my fashion and outfit and makeup inspo it has now been announced that we will be in lockdown well not lockdown but it's basically lockdown why don't they just call it lockdown we're going into tier three um which is london and some southeast boroughs i think they said or southeast um anyway we'll be going sorry that ring light is probably annoying um into tier three as of tomorrow at 12 1201 tomorrow which is basically tuesday no wednesday morning but basically tuesday night if that makes sense so midnight um tomorrow um and that's it i guess up until christmas until the dispensation days but we're still um still waiting to hear about those we've still got the dispensation days haven't we but they're saying that, that just because you can it doesn't mean that you should and um, but all my family are from the same we all live in the same area we haven't got anyone coming traveling from any other part of the uk um oh, it's just, i don't know on one point on one hand it's really good to save some money but on the other hand it's like you know come on we just started to get a bit of sanity and and reality and getting to enjoy wearing our clothes feeling our best selves and having a little bit of a social life and it's right back to you know square one basically anyway we're just watching the news now and waiting for is it boris that's going to address no, they marked, uh... oh was his name matt what hancock. matt hancock will be addressing us in 15 minutes so God. ...of mi mixing with other households over Christmas uh, and a message trying to be put out um, as was put out to MPs on a briefing call this morning that just because you're following the... The surveillance of this virus means that we can act very rapidly when a problem arises. We therefore decided to move Greater Lung Authority into Tier 3, which is the very high alert level. Hospitality settings must close except takeaway and delivery. Oh my god. So in light of today's news, we have decided that we will take Allegra to go and see the Christmas lights in London today because I don't think we'll be able to um take her at any point after this because we have to reduce our journeys and obviously London is a bit of a journey for us. It's definitely not a um necessary journey. So I just thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. I've basically got on the same polo neck belt and jeans i've just changed my boots and put on these um quilted boots that were gifted to me by lindsay shoes who i work with i just love the quilted detail on them they're like such a nice boot and they're so comfortable they look so expensive and they're like 
I think like 34 pounds. Um, definitely got some Chanel S vibes going on. And then I just got on my quilted caramel and coat in the berry red. As you can see, I'm really loving berry red at the moment. Um, and then I'm just carrying the black mama porter bag. It is raining outside, but I don't, we're not getting out of the car. We're literally just, it sounds like London is a nightmare at the moment. Um, so we're literally just going to be driving around to see the lights and coming home. We won't be getting out of the car at all. Um, but I also just wanted to wear this coat because it's um, it's got a hood on it and it's raining outside. So um, just to keep my hair nice and dry. Now that I've had it done, I don't plan to be um, putting any heat on it anytime soon. So I just don't want, to, want it to get wet. Um, eyes are looking a little bit weird i feel like it's this camera my eyes are almost looking gray anyway christian's already in the car we've got snacks packed um snacks packed yeah that's right and um yeah just excited to see the lights the, the lights have been the same for the past three four years now i think but anyway something different to the lights in good old kent um so yeah and Allegra always gets really excited to see them and the older she gets we've been doing this for about three years as a tradition we should go see the lights then we go to hamley's and obviously we're not going to be going to hamley's because we're not getting out of the car and just trying to be as careful as possible but it's a little tradition and um just lucky that we can still go today because by tomorrow it will be a no-go and actually tomorrow i've got a meal um for i'm doing some basically promotion for a small brand a small restaurant um well it's not really near me but it's kind of like in kind of like local ish but not um and so that will be what we're doing on our last night before we move into tier three because i've agreed to go down and cover her food in her new place and um so tomorrow we're out so today is literally the last day that we can kind of do go and see the lights and enjoy it with allegra so anyway i'll show you some of the lights i'm sure you've seen already what they look like um and yeah i've got to get in the car now look who's in the car can you see where are we going legs to london yeah what we're we going to see lights we're going to see the christmas lights now I'm sat in the back We've been doing this, for, I think I said this already, but we've been doing this for the past like, three years with Allegra. Um, anyway, we'll see when we get into London. Yeah. We're going to see Big Ben soon. Excuse me, you're squashing the... Huh? What, what is Big Ben, Legs? That. That is not Big Ben. Yes, it is. Is this a, a clock? No, it's not. Big Ben is huge. You're going to see it. Is it's even bigger than that. Huh? It's even bigger. Oh yeah. What does it look like? Oh, we're gonna see it in a minute. Does it look like this? This big. Even bigger. This big. It's even bigger than the whole car. This big. Bigger. This is bigger. It's not bigger than the car, is it? No. That's how big it is. Is it like this massive? Yeah, absolutely massive. Whoa. Is it this massive? Even bigger. Even bigger than that? Yep. It's huge. Huge. Yeah. And it even got my princess seat in. Yeah. So this bit hurts it, my neck. So that's why you got the... the it's little, comfy little, comfy little thing. It's like a cushion, isn't it? Yeah. Cushion Com for your seat belt. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> that's funny. Huh? Where's Big Ben? Nearly there. That's cool. That is cool, isn't it? It's, it's just a triangle. Yeah, it's like a big shard. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone now. Yeah, it's just pulled out. It's there, isn't it? So annoying that it's so wet and rainy. Sunny in the night time. No. <laughs> you just want it to be dry. Yeah. Yeah.
we are just back from London. We was able to do that round trip in two hours, which is amazing. That just goes to show, sorry, this is annoying me why this is here. That just goes to show how little traffic there was in London. And also there was like hardly anyone there. I felt like, it's weird, but I felt like there wasn't much of a Christmas spirit. Um, I don't know if it was because it was wet and raining and because it was super quiet. Um, just or just because you're just aware of what's going on at the moment with the pandemic and you know but it felt very different but i'm glad that we went allegra was really excited and obviously as she's getting older she's getting more and more excited i'm so so tired i just thought i'd show you my chill clothes for the evening um just because i don't really ever do um like lounge wear um in spokes so i'm like oh it's a bit boring but i know that people are starting to appreciate that now because of you know the pandemic as we are always talking about these days um i never do like dedicated content to it but i do appreciate that people are appreciating their loungewear more and even for me myself i'm you know getting out i'm, I'm actually wearing loungewear as before i just chuck on a t-shirt and leggings where I, now i'm really enjoying the feeling of my clothes and feeling nice even when i'm chilling at home and in loungewear because usually i would not be someone who invests in chill clothes or even has chill clothes i just have clothes that i wear at home and clothes that i wear out when i work in the day i definitely do wear my proper clothes clothes that make me feel good to work in um but i thought i'd share this look with you i have just literally got in and um just shut this on so this is from what the white company this t-shirt with the buttons here um, obviously i'm going to take my jewelry off um, and then i've got on these trousers also from the white company um and then i've got these amazing slippers on which were sent to me um from they were from a care package with Lindsay shoes who i work with loads and they're just so comfy i do have gray slippers but i just thought i wanted to um just wear these they're so comfortable i just love the colors they're a little bit fun um and i think they're actually a really good christmas gift if i get this out before christmas i would definitely recommend it i think okay they're super affordable i don't know how much they are but i i don't think they're expensive at all they're really good like stocking filler um so yeah that is my chill look let me see if i can get a full i haven't even bothered to tie this up properly um but yeah so that's the look and tonight we are um just chilling out i was going to do an instagram post but i don't know if i will now i'm so so tired and i really want to get on with editing some more youtube content and um christian's hoping that the godfather 2 will be on tonight because we just watched um the first one yesterday and now he's full on in godfather mode and i think it's kind of this time of the year when they generally tend to show godfather on tv that the whole trilogy so let's see if it's on tonight but anyway, i'm gonna go and see what my dinner looks like um just having leftovers tonight because obviously we've been out um so this is tonight's dinner i think it's noodles with beef and i'm not sure what else and christian's just quickly um reheated it in the wok so that is my dinner tonight um i'll see you in my next vlog where i will share with you um the new makeup that i got in from trini and then i've got some pieces from ganny and again another pair of shoes from Lindsay shoes so i'll share all that with you and um i'm not sure what tomorrow's video will be i don't know if it'll be a vlog or if it will be more kind of fashion focused but i'll see you in that video and i hope you enjoyed this one um something different it took you into london um i mean <laughs> my plan is that i'm going to edit it into a nice little montage with some good music and just bring the christmas vibes um and i will see you in my next vlog whenever that will be hopefully in the next few days after this one but thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up anything i've mentioned that will be linked down below in the description which should be down there i'll obviously link my white company set as well um and that's it i'm so hungry i just gonna pour myself a glass of wine and chill out um but anyway thanks for watching i'll see you in my next one ciao ciao